This morning, all nine Supreme Court justices have extra security amid an increase in threats. This all comes after Politico reported on the leaked draft opinion, showing the conservative majority is likely going to overturn Roe v. Wade. The U.S. Senate is set to vote next week on legislation that would set out to put abortion rights into federal law. Meantime, here, our state stepping up its actions as the future of Roe v. Wade is up in the air. And right now, state lawmakers are pushing a series of bills. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol is live with that, as well as the fight to change California's constitution. Good morning, Dana Marie. Good morning. Well, lawmakers in Sacramento are really sending a clear message on where California stands in Roe v. Wade, proposing a $20 million state fund to assist women who are experiencing financial burdens trying to get an abortion. So that there would be money for copay, for transportation, for an overnight stay if that's indicated, for child care, those kinds of things. Now, that was Senator... Ana Caballero, that is just one of many bills now advancing through the legislative process in Sacramento. If Roe v. Wade is ultimately overturned, backers of this bill anticipate that women from other states where abortions are restricted would seek care at California clinics. When we asked Senator Caballero about the numbers, she said it's projected to be about 3,000 times more women than what they currently see. Senate President Pro Temp Tony Atkins of San Diego has proposed legislation to allow some nurse practitioners to independently perform abortions. That measure would first have to get two-thirds approval in the state Senate and assembly, then would go before the vote for the final say in November. Coming up at 6.30, we explore additional bills being introduced, for example, to further health care access in California, especially for those out of state. So stick with us as we explore this further. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you live.